an English country home, the perfect setting for two traditionally English machines, a soft top sports car and a Range Rover style 4x4. The sports car was so wonderfully British that they even built it for James Bond and the 4x4 came straight out of the experts Land Rover stable. Only trouble is they're not British at all because both the Z8 and the X5 are German. They're from the men from Munich, BMW, who have this rather strange obsession with all things British. Who could forget the failed marriage with Rover? And now they're building the all new Mini. But the one thing that BMW do very well is they build stonking machines. And when you put that badge on the front, you're guaranteed big success, which is why both the Z8 and the X5 have sold out their first six month supply for Britain. Anyway, that's enough talking. Let's go and try the X5 first and see how much the men from BMW have learned from the men from Land Rover. Cheeky those Germans as well. They tried to pretend that they were pioneering something new with the X5 and called it the world's first sport activity vehicle. Forget all that. It's a posh 4x4. And they've taken the very best that Land Rover can offer them and then added their own extra dimension. And that is the engine and the on-road handling. This is like no other 4x4. 4.4 litre engine V8, 0 to 62 in 7.5 seconds, top of nearly 130 miles an hour. That's express saloon car work, and that's exactly what this is, because that is the big difference between the X5 and just about anything else on the road. It handles like a saloon car, but it's a 4x4. It's called having the best of all worlds. The interior really is classic BMW with that little bit extra. The X5 has got a real top drawer feel to everything you touch and it somehow feels just that bit more substantial and that little bit different to the normal 5 series and 7 series. You get an awful lot of enjoyment out of this car which is something you don't normally associate with 4x4s. They're big, they're solid, they look imposing but they're normally a pain to drive. This is definitely not a pain to drive. It's got definite X credentials. This is the first time I've actually road tested a 4x4 and not gone off road. That's because the majority of owners of the X5 will never venture anywhere more demanding than a twisty country road. That said, I did take it off road in America and it's perfectly adequate. As for the normal situation that you would think of with 4x4s of being a little bit basic, forget that as well. Inside here, you've got limo style luxuries. You've got all the gadgets you can imagine, navigational system, best CD player you can find, leather seats, nice touches of aluminium all around the dash. It is a thoroughly pleasant place to travel in. And that's not only from a sitting and comfort point of view, but also from a point of view of just enjoying yourself when you're driving hard. And the price, 44,670, which is Range Rover territory. But then the X5 is very definitely a worthy rival. You've got to hand it to them. They're clever, these Germans, very clever. They would appear to have learned an awful lot from Land Rover and then added their own touch of driving excellence. This really is a formidable machine. But I've had enough of being the landed gentry. I think it's time for a rather large change of character. Time for me to become Mr. James Bond. I think this looks more the part. Now, let's go and see why old James got so excited about this black beast. If 
if you thought the Batmobile exterior was impressive, take a look at this. Clever little thing here, they have all of the dials slightly to your right, beautiful for the eye line here, in a sort of motorcycle style cowling, and in front of you you've got no distractions. The Z8 will set you back a hefty £80,000 and that's an awful lot of dough, but you do become a member of a rather exclusive club because BMW intends selling just 60 in the UK next year. And of course, underneath the bonnet is where it's all really happening. There we have a 5-litre V8 engine with which James Bond can leave his passengers decidedly shaken and stirred, especially when you actually switch the sport mode button, which really gives you liftoff. And that engine gives you supercar performance. We're talking 0 to 62 mile an hour in 4.7 seconds and on to a limited top speed of 155. That's fast enough for even James to get away from all those baddies.